photos. The richest man in the world says American Media Inc. is threatening to release his private photos. Jeff Bezos, Amazon founder and oh, by the way, the richest man in the world. The Amazon CEO accusing the parent company of the National Enquirer of extortion and blackmail. American Media Inc., or AMI, is at the center of extortion allegations made by billionaire Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos. The allegations involve lewd photographs and potentially even associates of President Trump. New York City-based AMI publishes a range of lifestyle and entertainment titles, including The National Enquirer, Us Weekly, and In Touch. The company says its publications reach a combined 47 million people each month. AMI's flagship publication, The National Enquirer, became the first weekly celebrity news and gossip magazine in the 1960s. Today it maintains its reputation for outrageous stories and salacious celebrity gossip. Its influence has waned in the last decade. Ten years ago, circulation peaked at about 900,000 copies per week. In more recent years, that number has fallen to less than 300,000. It's still stocked at supermarket checkout lines throughout the country, meaning many non-readers are still exposed to its front page. The Inquirer has broken some significant stories over the years. Its reporting exposed former senator and presidential candidate John Edwards' affair with film producer Riley Hunter. The two had a child together, and the scandal ultimately led to the end of his political career. Uh, I made a very serious mistake, a uh, mistake that I am responsible for and no one else. The Inquirer also ran an exclusive on Bristol Palin's pregnancy, which caused former governor of Alaska Sarah Palin to preemptively break the news about her then-teenage daughter. And all of this happened while she was the Republican vice presidential candidate. News that Governor Sarah Palin's teenage daughter is pregnant came in a written statement. Palin stating, we're proud of Bristol's decision to have her baby and even prouder to become grandparent. In 2005, the magazine ran a story alleging that Bill Cosby assaulted two women. This happened nearly a decade before other media outlets reported on Cosby's repeated sexual misconduct. The Inquirer's Bezos expose goes beyond regular tabloid scandal because of its political hit job allegations. Bezos' private security consultant, Gavin De Becker, said the Inquirer's scoop was a politically motivated smear, potentially involving key figures in President Trump's 2016 campaign. The publication is known for its loyalty to Trump. In uh, April of 1999, when, uh, when we acquired American media... AMI's chief executive, David Pecker, is a long-standing friend of the president. Their relationship began when Pecker was CEO of Hachette Filipacci Media in the 90s. The publisher produced Trump Style Magazine which Trump distributed at his properties starting in 1997. Pecker has a history of publishing pro-Trump stories. He directed the Inquirer to write favorable stories about Trump during the 2016 presidential campaign. AMI was also behind the $150,000 payment made to former Playboy model Karen McDougal. The payment was made during the 2016 campaign to quiet McDougal's claim of a long-running affair with Trump. AMI admitted to the payment in December 2018 as part of an agreement to avoid federal prosecution. Pecker himself was granted immunity by federal prosecutors investigating Trump's former attorney Michael Cohen and his role in hush money payments. Pecker's immunity comes in exchange for providing information on these deals. After Bezos published the statement detailing his allegations, reporter Ronan Farrow said that he and another prominent journalist had received similar blackmail threats from AMI over their reporting. Farrow has written about the Inquirer's catch-and-kill practice that benefited the Trump campaign, where stories are squashed by paying off sources. In a February 8th statement, AMI said it would thoroughly investigate Bezos' extortion claims. The company said it believes it has, quote, acted lawfully in its reporting and engaged in, quote, good faith negotiations to resolve all matters with Bezos.